Tonight, we are going to eat every single item off of the Taco Bell value menu. We're going to start with the cheesy roll-up, this little shrimpy guy. Alex, this is a lot of stuff. This, I've been known to put down some food. This is 1,840 calories worth of food. So what else am I going to eat? That I, I mean, I got, that's not enough. It's a lot. It's a lot. So this is nothing but cheese. Hmm. It's a cheesy roll up. Yeah. Adam, how did it feel going up to Taco Bell and ordering an entire segment of the menu? You know, it wasn't as embarrassing as I thought it would be. I said, lady, I want the whole cravings menu. And she's like, yes, sir. Boom. Yeah. $7.99. $7.99. What a deal. Although the thing is, I feel like it's less embarrassing walking up and saying, give me all you got. than it is walking up and, and having a list of like 17 items like I normally do. Like I've thought yeah. about it for a long time. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, it feels less. Yeah, I, I totally feel you. So I eat this pretty quick. This is still pretty good. Like it's it's basic. Cheese is great. It's one of the most, it's one of the top 10 most addictive foods, actually. And it's just cheese and tortilla, baby. Carbs and cheese. I feel like I shouldn't pay money for this because I should be able to make this. But I can't make this because I'm not good at cooking. It's like a poor man's quesadilla. That's all it is. Mm. That's a winner. What do, how would you feel if you just had seven of these? I wouldn't like that. Like, they're good. I could eat one or two, but I need something more filling. Um, this was one. Actually, the cravings menu isn't all $1. The cheesy roll-up was $1.19. Oh, and yeah. It also is vegan, and it's 180 calories. It is definitely not vegan, Adam. It's cheesy roll-up. Vegan. Dude, I looked on their menu online it says it is vegan am i eating soy cheese then what's that i don't know what to tell you according to taco bell's menu it is vegan and you know what we need to keep moving on so let's go Next item is the cheesy bean and rice burrito. And Alex, this is the gut bomb of the cravings menu. Well, so I, I think of it as a gut bomb because it's usually what's going to finish me off. It's, it sits heavy. It rides deep. Is it a gut bomb for you because of what happens afterwards? Mm. It's good, but yeah, it, it's just so dense. And it's all the foods that just... They settle, man. All that rice and the cheese, the beans. I think it's the beans. They just the, the thing like is, eating is pure it, it's like a, a reverse toothpaste tube, except instead of toothpaste, it's it's refried beans. And as you chew it, you're pushing more of the beans down to the bottom. And so at the mm -hmm. end, it's just bean and tortilla, which some people like, and I don't, I don't, I don't. I will say this is. When I go to Taco Bell, this is the staple that I get. I get this, I get a potato soft taco, and that's about it. I get two of each, and that does me all day. Just this and just a potato soft taco? Yeah. I will say, this is one of the more calorific items from the menu, 410. And you feel mm -hmm. every calorie as you're putting it in your mouth. That's true. It's cheap. It's 129. So cheap item. And this brings up a good point, Alex. I think there's a difference between the best value and the best tasting. So as we go through these, what do you think, in your opinion, is the best value? And what do you think is going to be the best tasting? That's tough because value has the experience as part of it and the price. I think if you're going to just get full, this is going to make you not necessarily full, but you're not going to want to eat anymore. Um, mm -hmm. When 
so you get you get a bite, and I'm right here on the cusp of it. I'm looking forward to it, but I got to talk right now while you stuff your gullet. You get a bite that's got like a good 33% rice, 33% bean, 33% cheese, and 1% tortilla. That's a good one. But if every bite was like that, this would be top tier. But not every bite's like that. So th- I, it's good. It's a lot of calories. It's good calories for your dollar. But it's not the best experience. So this isn't the best tasting of the things. What do you think by the end you will say, by the end of the night, this is the best tasting cravings menu item? Chicken, chipotle, melt. Name which one of those three words doesn't sound like the best thing on the menu? Potato soft taco. That Or no, it's potato, so, spicy. spicy potato soft taco. That's, that is what I'm going to say is going to taste the best out of all of this. And I do agree with you. I hate to agree with you. This is the best value because you, it's going to run through you and clean your bowels out. Some people, some people ingest turpentine. Some people ingest apple cider vinegar for this crap. No, man, a cheesy bean and rice burrito from Taco Bell. It will clear you out. Ton of food. Like you said, you won't need to eat again. It's got vitamin C, vitamin B, vitamin R, and vitamin Q for what's that quesadilla? No, vitamin T for tortilla. It's got all of it for you. Yeah, it does. Okay, we've had enough of this. Let's move on, see what else we can get into. Mm, This next item is the palate cleanser. The nachos. With the cheesy nachos. Listen, we can't go heavy with burritos for every step of the way. We need we need to recalibrate and reassess. Uh, here's the thing. This is going to be a horrible audio, but I've never had these in my entire life. I have never had nachos from Taco Bell. What should I expect going in? You should expect low-level chips. This, I don't even know where this comes from. I don't think it's a real chip. It looks like a leftover from something else that they were trying to make, like a, a nachos bel grande or something. Cool, whatever. They, they give you a good cup of cheese. Now, here's the issue. Are they going to give us enough cheese to match the amount of chips we have? No way in hell. But we're going to do the best we can to make sure there's a, bit, a good smattering of cheese on each chip. The thing here... I could see what you're saying about the chips, but I don't dislike them. They're still crunchy. I like that they're small because I don't have to worry about, okay, how am I going to navigate this in my mouth? I just pop it in. And the cheese is very pleasant. There is a kick, not big, but there's a little spice to it that really adds something. I am liking this actually quite a bit. Here's a pro tip, Adam. You need to grab like one or two chips and do a dip all at once. Don't go one chip at a time or else you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to use too much of the nacho cheese to, uh, to try to cover that chip. Okay. Okay. But then you have more to put in your mouth. Never been a problem for you, Adam. Neither for your mom. <laughs> at order in the court. All right. Oh, Okay, here you go. What the, the skunk was the judge at this particular court. Now, nah, yeah. the, the punchline was odor in the court, odor in the court. I Objection. think it was something like the skunk, the judge skunk, or what did the skunk judge say in court? And it was odor. I had something bad. Something what did the judge though. say when the skunk walked into the courtroom? Mm. Odor in the court, odor in the court. You know, Adam, joke better than I do. It's because I'm a judge. All right. So I do think this was a good palate cleanser because that cheesy bean and rice burrito really did a number on the taste buds in the mouth. I, I'm ready to take another item if you are. One question, Adam. You know, this cheese doesn't come prepackaged like this. Would it make it less appetizing if you saw where the cheese came from? I'm thinking if it was a big plastic bag full of cheese and it just got like right onto the right into the cup. I think that would make me feel gross about it. That's why I don't look into the drive thru when I go to Taco Bell. I don't even make eye contact with the guy handing me food. Not out of disrespect, but I have to disassociate myself. I'm not at Taco yep. Bell for good reasons. 
Exactly. I assume all of this stuff came from a bag. So, yeah, I think it would be disgusting. But like you said, don't look them in the eye and you'll be all right. <laughs> Next on the docket is the chicken chipotle melt. And Alex, I have had these. I do like them, but there's one thing I don't like about them. And no, it is not the $1.29 price. And it is not the, where is it? I'm trying to figure, and it's not the 109 calories. Look at this. It's puny. This, you would, I would have to eat five of these even to make it considered possibly a meal. Yeah, that'd be a good meal. That'd be the best meal you could get at Taco Bell, maybe. The make your no own way. box. Oh, mm. The one thing it has going for it is that it's good. I mm-hmm. like, thus far, we have not had any meat. I'm a meat boy. Give me some meat. You're the beef. You're the beef. I'm the beef. You're the beef. Here's the thing about this. This is a new entry into the dollar menu item, the value menu item, or list, because it used to be the shredded mini chicken quesadilla. And I'm pretty sure they're just rolling that sucker up and calling it a chicken chipotle melt. It's got some spicy sauce on it, and my tongue is burning. How's your tongue feeling, Adam? See, that's what I was looking forward to, but mine's not very spicy. They didn't add much sauce. I'm very disappointed in that because Mm. I like the spice. I'm a spice boy. I'm a spicy, meaty boy. This is, this one's stuffed. This one's over full. They must've been getting rid of some out of date chicken in this one. Dude, give give me some. Yeah. I wait. Let me, let me dangle a bit right there for you. I'm impressed. This is one of my go-tos. And now this is one of the better ones I've had in a long time. See, to me, I would rather have the spicy chicken quesadilla because although it too was small, they had it in that silver aluminum wrapping. It looked like a quesadilla, felt like a quesadilla. It was nice and toasted on both sides. It was a complete experience. The shredded chicken was good. I always got a lot of sauce in those. This one I got gypped. It still tasted good, but I Maybe it's Taco Bell from Taco Bell, but I need more spice up in there. More spice in your life. Well, that was mine was excellent. And I don't I have no complaints. That was All everything right. I needed it to be. That's it. That's probably one of the more tasty entries into the cravings menu. <laughs> I have an objection to make against Taco Bell. Objection sustained. I paid seven dollars. They didn't give me my spicy potato soft taco. This is the one thing that I need in a value menu bag because this is what resets my taste buds so I can get whatever I want. What did you just pull? A necklace out of your taco? A long piece of lettuce, baby. (laughs) Okay. I like how you were throwing it away and I call you out on it. So you eat it. So here's the thing. We thought about stopping and having Alex go pick one up for the sake of this video, but he's eaten so many. He doesn't need to eat another one. He knows it well enough. And I have a confession to make, Alex. Back when we were going to school together, you said we used to go to Taco Bell because it's cheap. We were broke. And you said, spicy potato, soft taco. It's the way to go. And I was like, dude, no, it's too small. It's the same price as a beef burrito. You're stupid. And I never got one until about eight months ago. You were, you were right. right. Yeah, you were right. This is exquisite. It's one of my favorite items now on the cravings menu is because one, the potato has that great texture along with that nice spicy sauce All that is real warm, but then they hit you with the crisp, chilled lettuce. And all of that wrapped together in that tortilla, oh, man, it's good. I'm not a potato man, but I become a potato man every time I get a spicy potato soft taco. The spice, that's what that surprises you. It's a good spice. You, You don't see it coming, and it's just bow! What I love is at the end, there's always a bunch of shredded cheese hanging out in the paper. 
that fell out of my, and I get to eat that too. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I absolutely love it. I know you don't have anything to eat. I feel bad for you. This, I think, taste-wise, to this point, is in fact my favorite. I don't necessarily think it's the best value, but I, I think it tastes the best of all of them. If you're ready, do you want to do the beef burrito next? Yeah, we got to do it. That's all I got left. I'm, I'm so hungry, Adam. I'm so hungry. Beef burrito, here we come. Choo-choo! <laughs> Adam, how are you feeling full wise? Are you getting full? Can you can you do this? Can you keep going? You've had one extra item than me. The thing is, I am getting full. I feel like I've eaten about 1200 calories so far, and I'm not looking forward to this beef burrito. It is not only a big boy, but it's weighty. I'm and starving. I'm starving, Adam. Quit talking. I, ah. You're still hungry. I gotta admit, too, the first like three bites of a beef burrito. I like, but after that, something about it gets old or it maybe just doesn't taste as good. Maybe the proportions are typically off. I always enjoy the first three bites better. And then the rest of it, I'm like, yeah. This is basically the cheesy bean and rice burrito, but with beef instead of bean. Mm -hmm. It has the same issues. But like, yeah. the deal is, is this was the one that lets you know you're eating at Taco Bell. You taste the quality of the beef there. And it's not awful, but it's not great. It's not, it doesn't feel high quality. What do I expect? It's a dollar menu. It's getting me over the finish line is what it's doing. Like, when I order Taco Bell, this is the first item for me that, I don't finish and I end up throwing in the trash. Like we're doing this and the spicy soft potato taco. I'm finishing that item, but the beef I'm like, okay, I don't think I'm going to finish it right now. You have I've to, already, you have to, Oh, uh -uh, you have to, I, I'll hold you in I, contempt. <sighs> dang it. Oh gosh. Like it's so heavy. It is 430 calories. It is the most caloric value item. It's numero uh, uno. See, like, I'm, I'm sick of eating it. Like, I don't want to take another bite. Yeah. It's like you go to, if you went to a restaurant and ordered their beefy burrito, you'd get a quarter of the way through it because it'd be a big one. You get a quarter of the way through and you're like, I'm not, I've made, I made a bad choice here. And that's kind of the name of the game, though. This is the most Taco Bell item, I think. Because it epitomizes, it makes your body mm -hmm. feel like you went to Taco Bell. Your mind feels like you went to Taco Bell. It's definitely a choice. I think you're not, right. Not a good one. No, no. Well, we only have one item left. Here comes dessert. <laughs> All right, we are at the final item of the cravings menu for Taco Bell, and it is the famous cinnamon twists. And the cinnamon we just, pork rind, yeah. It pretty much is, and we apologize in advance for the horrible audio you're having to listen to, but players got to play. It, it, you're really, all you taste, you pop it in there, you take two bites, it's immediately dissolved. It's like cotton candy, and then your mouth mm -hmm. is full of cinnamon. Not a bad thing, and I really need it right after that. Uh, right after that beefy burrito, which almost put me under. And the thing about this is, it is the only dessert item on the value menu. Which honestly, that disappoints me because they've got the little cinnamon bites that are real good. They had the caramel apple empanada, which was my go-to dessert every time I went to Taco Bell. I had to get the caramel apple empanada. They got rid of it. I am livid. I like these, but they don't touch the caramel apple empanada. How much was the empanada? How much was this? A dollar? I feel the like it should be 25 cents. The empanada was only like a dollar, maybe a little more. Maybe it was like a buck 30. Uh, these things, 
these things are right around, you know, same price. And the thing about these for me is that if you don't get any cinnamon, it doesn't taste good. You have to get the cinnamon sugar for it to taste good. And there's little bites where you don't get some of that. And you're like, you're eating an unflavored pork rind and it's horrible. But it, it, we should clarify, it's not really a pork rind. What do you think it is? Is it just a tortilla that they've puffed up and fried? Oh, gosh. I don't – I'm not really sure what it is. How do they make it twist? There's a whole lot of mystery in this, which is, is kind of a good thing. Because, like, a churro – churros are too dense. Like – I feel like I'm going on, a, on an adventure. Mm-hmm. And they give you a lot of them. Like, oh, I know they're 80% air, but, and I know they're not going to fill you up, but you feel like you are getting a good value because it takes you a while to eat them and it comes in a bigger bag and there's a lot of them in there. So, how do you clean your fingers off when you're done? Adam? I just stick them all in my mouth, baby. Just gotta hope I didn't stick them in my pants first. Well, Adam sticks it in his mouth. Keep us stuck in your ears. Okay, Alex, I am ready to move on. We got a final recap we gotta do. We have a lot more to talk about. We'll be right back. <laughs> So we have now downed almost 1,900 calories of Taco Bell, and we are ready to rate our favorite and the best cravings menu items for Taco Bell, at least in the United States. In your market, may be different. Alex, are you ready to give these a rating from zero to five? We'll combine them, and we'll find what the gaming court top items are. Yeah, I'm harsh, but I'm fair. And I'm a good judge of taste. So let's run down this list. It's good because you're not a good judge of character. Okay, beef burrito. I, I'm i not going to lie. I don't like it that much. I got to give it. It's my least favorite of all of these. And because of that, I'm going to have to give it a one. Mm. It's not my least favorite. And I, I don't super enjoy it, but I always feel compelled to get it. For that reason, I got to give it a two. Okay, that is a pretty low score of three. A cheesy bean and rice burrito. As I mentioned, it's a staple of mine, but it's a staple of mine because of the value, not necessarily a taste. I got to give it, I, I'm going to give it a three. Cheesy bean and rice burrito? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think it's a good three. It's one that's it's hanging in there, yeah. Okay, that's giving us a six. Here's the big boy, the spicy potato soft taco. Like I said, it has become my new favorite item. The thing is, I, I don't think any of these are a perfect five. This is close. I have to give it a four. I want to give it a zero because they didn't give me one. But because that is the penultimate, like that, that's the, my, the Taco Bell experience. That's what happens. As you order a bunch of stuff, they don't give you one of them. For that reason, I got to give it a five out of five. Oh, wow. Five out like Diablo. <laughs> okay. A chicken chipotle melt. This is also one of my favorites. The only thing preventing me from giving this a four is the fact that it's so small. So the value is not there. So I got to give it a three. It's big enough to make me happy that I got it. It's small enough to which means I can buy more than one. I definitely got to give that bad boy a four out of five. Four out of five, cheesy roll up. Now here, it's so basic. I, it's not bad, but I have to give it a two. If your bag's missing a cheesy roll up when you leave Taco Bell, your bag's missing out on the fun. Your bag's missing out on the experience. That's a solid three and a half out of five. Wow, go in the decimals, okay? Chips and cheese. This is the first time I've ever had it. It was a good palate cleanser, but if I didn't need a palate cleanser, would I want to eat this? And the answer is no. I'm going to have to give it a two along with the cheesy roll-up. 
how does a man evaluate a value menu item whose real value lives in the leftover cheese in the cup that can be used for another value menu item? I don't think it's fair to judge a man on the character of the men he's around. And for that reason, I can't judge this item on the character of the item that are around it. I got to give it a two out of five. <laughs> Very uh, lofty explanation there. Cinnamon twists. I'm going to, I'm going to have to give these a three because they aren't as good as some of the items I give a four, the spicy potato soft taco. It's a three. Yeah. It's a, it's a good three. If I didn't feel like trash enough after the beefy uh, burrito, this one solidified my trash feeling. I give this a one. Wow. Okay. So then what we have here, the spicy potato soft taco is our number one item with a grade of 11. We then go to the chicken. Wait, okay. Now. No, whoa, 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 whoa. How do we get an 11? Uh, I meant a nine. <laughs> Thank you. I went into law, not mathematics, a nine. And then at seven, we have the chicken chipotle melt. At six, we have the cheesy bean and rice burrito. At 5.5, we got the cheesy roll up. At four, we have a tie for the chips and cheese and the cinnamon twists. And finally, our least favorite item has got to be the beef burrito. But here's the thing. That's our decision. What is your favorite what is your absolute favorite cravings item menu? Comment below. We want to have a poll. Alex and I are going to bet. And next week, the loser of that bet is going to have to eat a bean. We want to know your answer. Uh-huh.